All right, guys, I just got back from my Easter vacation, had an update waiting for me, so I installed it, and it was version 12.3.3, and after I installed it, I got this email from Tesla, and I got this message on the car screen. So let's go. Can I just single pull this? Yeah, literally, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. The point of this video is gonna to be to see if a complete noob can get in the car and drive with FSD without any prior knowledge. I've never been in a car with FSD, I've seen the videos online, but I've never tried it. So if you're an expert with FSD, don't tax my gig too hard because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well that looks different. This did not used to look like that. Oh, that's nuts. How do you make that full screen? A few moments later. It looks like you can drag this over. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it looks in all the videos I've seen. Wow. That is crazy. Let's see what we think. First thing I notice is, is can it be easy to get distracted and watch the screen? So I wonder what happens if I click down right now with no destination. Okay, so I don't have a destination put in. So it seems to just be following the road I'm on. I wonder if you can swipe this back. Yeah. All right, so there's a Walmart up here off the highway. Will it take me to Walmart now? Is it, is it following my route? All right, so coming up is going to be our first sort of major intersection. All right, so it's doing a blinker. Yeah, it is. What's it doing here? Oh, I guess both of these are turning lanes. It got into the left lane. It was a little wonky. All right, here we go. Let's see. Yep. Wow. Okay, so then the highway entrance is up here after this overpass on the left. Yeah, it's signaling. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Wow. That's bananas. So I think you can change lanes with the blinker. Let me see. So I'm going to click my blinker on and see what happens. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. It drives with confidence. I usually would take a left at this intersection and pull into Walmart this way. Well, let's see what it does. Wow. Is it going to go through this parking lot? I wonder where it's going to take me. There's the Walmart over there. Huh. I mean, this is nuts. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a little sketchy in the parking lot here. But it kind of seems to just figure it out. All right, so I'm going to stop it. I hit the brake. Like, literally, I have no idea what I'm doing. I typed in a destination and it went. All right, so I have downtown put in the nav. So I'm going to head back that way. 
So can I just single pull this? Yeah. It's definitely a big truck right to my right. I'm gonna need to eventually get in that lane to exit the highway coming up here. I'm gonna take control. I don't trust it. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what would've happened there. So I freaked out and took control. I'm gonna really try to confuse it. So what I'm gonna make it do here is go left and then immediately cut all the way over to the far right hand side of that next lane of traffic and take a right up there. Wow, it's creeping, it feels pretty human. So there's gonna be a gap. So I hit the gas to sort of make it happen. Is it gonna get over? Yeah, it's got the blinker on. This, this car that was coming flashed his lights to kind of let me go. And so I touched the gas and it kind of looks like it made it go. Wow. I mean, that's insanity. So I guess you can kind of hit the gas to like get it to go if it's kind of stuck. Okay, so here we're coming up to that little circle in the downtown area. We need to go left around it. All right, here we go. It's got the blinker on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now we're back. I mean, that is amazing. I'm gonna disengage. That is just incredible. I'm shocked. So I would say a complete noob can definitely just get into this and use autopilot. I would say it's easy to get distracted and to watch the screen. So pay attention to the road. But wow, that is incredible. If you haven't seen my video on balancing your battery pack, check that out. I'll put a link here on the screen for it. Especially if you often leave your state of charge relatively low, like if you never charge up past 50 or 60%, check that video out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on other interesting topics. Peace.